establish EC. All right, so we're gonna be learning about the NFA to DFA conversion process. So here we're gonna do SIPSR 1.17, which is making an NFA for this particular regex and then converting it into an equivalent DFA. All right, so we could do the whole uh, NFA, uh, sorry, make a regex, um, from a regex make an NFA process, but I'm not gonna go uh, doing that because it's gonna be rather large. So I'm just gonna do a shortcut where I'm gonna make an NFA for each one of these pieces and then uh, union them together and then do the star. So here, I'm actually gonna uh, merge them too. So notice that all three parts start with a zero. So I'm gonna have a zero transition and then actually all of them start with a one. Uh, I mean, the next character in all of them is a one. So then here, uh, we could either stop potentially or we could read uh, a zero or a one after that. And, and so that, this state right here will take care of these two. So I, I effectively union them all together, which is nice. So then to do the star, we need to have a start state that is an accept state that epsilons its way into the original start state. And the all the other uh, accepting states need to go back on epsilon transitions. Okay, so then I'm gonna do that. So that's a quick NFA for this. There, there are many other ways you could have done this, but this is really easy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna label these states as one, two, three, four, and five. So then now when I'm gonna make the DFA, I can refer to sets of states of the NFA. So we always need to consider the epsilon closure of any state that we're in. So the start state of the DFA is going to be the epsilon closure of the start state which is where you can go only on epsilon transitions. Well, from here, I can stay there or I can go to two. So the start state over here, I'm gonna call the state one, two. Not, I could put set notation on it, but it's quicker to do it this way. All right, so then if I read a zero, where am I gonna go? Well, the one state here doesn't go anywhere on zero, so we can forget about it. The two state goes to three. And so the only sets of states I can reach just on the transition is three. Well here, three doesn't have any epsilon transitions coming out of it. So therefore we, uh, the epsilon closure is just the state three. So if I read a zero transition, I'm just gonna go to three. Well here, if I read a zero in three, then I don't, I don't have any state that I can go to. So that would be referred to as the empty set state because it's the set of states I can reach, I, which is effectively nothing. So here I'm gonna go to, on zero, I'm gonna go to the empty set state, or state I'm gonna call that. And in that state, I can't go anywhere because I'm currently nowhere. So therefore I'm going to put a zero and one transition here because um, I'm effectively nowhere, and I reading a character is not going to get me somewhere. All right. Well, if I read a one, let's figure out where we can go. Well, if I read a one, then I can be in four. I can't get to five because that requires a character transition. But I can also go to z uh, one and two. So the set of states I can reach are one, two, and four. So in one, two, and four, where can I go on zero? Well, the, the one state goes nowhere on any, anything. Two goes to three, so I'm gonna have a three somewhere. The four state goes to five on zero, and five on an epsilon transition can go to one and two. So I'm gonna have one, two, three, and five as, the, as that state. If I read a one in this state, where can I go? Well, the one state, nowhere. Two state, nowhere. Uh, the four state goes to five, and so that goes to one and two. So I'm gonna have one, two, five. And notice these two states are not the same. All right, so one, two, three, and five, where can we go on, let's say, zero? One state goes nowhere, two goes to three. Three goes nowhere, five goes nowhere. So effectively, we're only going to three, and we've already made that state. So I can have the zero transition go back up. On a one, where can we go? Well, one goes nowhere, two goes nowhere, three uh, goes to four. 
And so therefore, <laughs> uh, therefore, I can go from four to one to two on epsilon transitions, which is the state that we already made here. So I can go back to one, the one, two, four state on one. So on one, two, and five, we're gonna have something very similar. So on zero, the, the one state goes nowhere, two goes to three, five goes nowhere. And so therefore I go back to three on, on zero. On one, uh, those states go, don't go anywhere actually. So I'm gonna go to the empty set state. And then now for final states, we only, we're gonna mark all of these states over here as accepting if the originals were. And, and, and at least one of the states within each of the written states here was a final state before. So anything that has a one, four, or five in it is going to be final. So this one has a one in it. This doesn't have any of them. This one has a one. This has a one. This has a one. That doesn't have anything. And so therefore, this is a, a DFA for this particular MFA. So it's actually pretty similar in size, but it's a little bit more compact, I guess, like even though they have the, uh, actually this has more states in it, but um, there were some transitions that were not marked here. And uh, we don't have any epsilon transitions, of course, because it's a DFA. All right, so hopefully that was interesting. Leave thoughts about the NFA to DFA conversion into the comments down below. As always, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out. There are many other links in the video description if you want to support the, ch the channel further. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. That was easy. That was easy. That was easy.